Hey Dan, this is Allie Tapley. I am just getting back to you in regards to week seven, part one. I have been reviewing your blog posts um, for the past seven weeks and kind of got myself updated on your artistry and also first and foremost, just wanted to say congratulations on the graduate journey and how exciting it must be to be working at Wayne State. Um, that's really exciting for us who are going through the online journey. So it was kind of cool to hear that. Um, I just wanted to start off and kind of go through that part one segment. Um, I understand that you're doing your field work at Wayne State, which is super awesome, like I mentioned, and that you have several projects that you're working on. Um, the large scale ones being the underpants, a streetcar named Desire, a Christmas Carol, in addition to a few smaller ones, and Mid Midsummer Night's Dream, Stop Kiss, um, and then a couple dance venues, which I found very exciting because that's my element. And um, I my major is uh, more in the dance artistry field. So that was kind of exciting to see that um, you'll be working with dancers, which I'm sure, like you had mentioned in your blog, is a whole other um, element to learning and um, being educated in that realm of, of lighting and different things like that for dancers because they're moving faster and they're all over the um, stage floor and, and different things like that. So I completely understand how that might be a new element for you. Um, <clears throat> In addition to that, I saw that you will be, um, your main focus is to supervise um, work calls and safety protocols and um, also to be, the main, you know, first and foremost, a role model and a mentor for these um, that you'll be working with in the next few weeks. I know you said that it ends December 9th which is perfect for our semester because you're being able to tie in our course blog uh, assignments along with um, the experiments working with these different productions and they'll be ending in December as well. Um, I also really liked how you went into the YouTube field and kind of was able to get some more information in regards to um, different tutorials and videos that you can offer your students. Um, I think that's really, really important. That's kind of the, the realm that I am in, which I have created a blog, and I just think it's fantastic and wonderful that we have so many amazing venues now um, to be able to get information and gain expertise through the internet and through um, just different step-by-step -step tutorials. Um, there's a few blogs that I actually um, focus on in regards to dance and theater, and I'm gonna send those your way for part two uh, through a Word document. Uh, when I when I saw how much you were doing this semester, I, I did get a little, I guess, concerned because I think as artists we tend to uh, just, we want to do so much. We want to put our hands in everything. And so I think what I was thinking of was just in regards to you, just making sure that you're taking time for yourself and for self-care and also even just maybe questioning if, um, through this semester, if you, of course, you still have to do the work in all these productions, but maybe if you just focus on one of the, the productions that you really, really, really go detail with, um, instead of doing a whole, all of the productions and maybe not as detailed, I'm just curious and wondering if maybe you would learn more and if maybe some of the students uh, that you're mentoring would possibly catch on better if it was if you just had focused on or if you just focus on one production that's just my biggest thing right now is feeling like you have your hands in a lot and um, 
and I understand, you know, coming from just being an artist that we want to have our hands in a lot. So just being aware of self-care this semester for yourself. Um, thank you. And I am looking forward to doing part two.